NBC Bay Area's Bob Riddell have been live at the scene out there, and I know your vantage point could be tough as well as you tried to get close to the site, Bob. So I've got me and uh, South on 880 between me and the, and the protesters that I barely saw cutting. The one thing I think I can see that you couldn't see, you've got a better vantage point, though they are cutting the uh, barrels down the side lengthwise and then taking them apart. Earlier they had a grinder, a metal grinder, which I have a grinder at home, and that's not sufficient. That's one reason why it's right taking time. I now see a CHP officer uh, starting up a gasoline power. I think it's a grinder, uh, and he's cutting through something right now. And they might have had a plasma torch or something out here as well. My point is, okay, yeah, it looks like they got the uh, the saws that the fire department used to cut through cars. And that's the first time we've seen that. So hopefully that's going to expedite this. But before it's just a small metal grinder, you'd get it from depot. But they're, they're bringing that out right now to cut through another piece of metal to get that barrel removed, presumably from the road, as you were describing. It sounds like they were somehow cemented down. So I count uh, three barrels still remaining and, and one, two, at least three protesters with their arms still stuck in the barrel. With regards to one protester who needed the paramedics earlier, uh, they left and she, she's doing fine as far as I can tell. She's, you know, moving and still has her hand in the barrel. So uh, I take it back. I count four barrels now. So, uh, again, CHP, uh, they just got a bigger piece of equipment out here. Uh, they are firing up, cutting through the metal, and hopefully that's going to expedite this and take a less time than using the small grinder, the four-inch grinder that they had earlier. Again, this is a heavy piece of gasoline-powered equipment that the fire department uses to cut through cars um, and so this will help getting through the uh, cutting through these oil drums and again one reason why it's taking time is they don't want to hurt the people who have their arms in there um, and then once they get that removed hopefully they get traffic moving again but it's been uh, a couple of hours you, the front line of cars here in traffic i believe that they are associated with the protest and that they are the ones who stopped the traffic and got their the oil barrels out but they are out here videoing this and they seem to be uh, at some point um, chanting on and encouraging on the uh, their colleagues who are, have their arms in the barrels. And you've got construction workers who are trying to get to their jobs who are just standing out here waiting for, for this to get cleared. Uh, I'd say you've got easily 30 um, officers from CHP. You've got Calcans out here with a, some uh, flatbed trucks to remove all of the debris and to do any road repairs if that's going to be necessary. Uh, but it is a mess out here in the back of it. I know as you can see from Sky Ranger, it extends for hundreds of yards, if not miles, definitely as far as the eye can see. And southbound 880, which I'm standing up against, um, is slow and go all the way back into the city of Oakland. And it picks up once people get past it. You get to look really, really good, unfortunately. So, again, if you're just joining us, northbound 880, shut down just south of the Embarcan Arrow, Fifth Avenue exit here in Oakland because of these. Um, pro-Palestinian protesters who, who have interlocked their arms into these oil barrels and somehow secured them onto the roadway, it appears. And the, the, the main pickup is getting them out of those barrels safely and uh, having to cut through the metal to do that. Martha, more. So, Bob, you broke up a little bit just for me. You were sick. Was someone taken away uh, with a medical emergency? I know that we've seen uh, personnel out there on standby. You know, the person you saw taken away on NBC Bay or Sky Ranger was a protester who was uh, be, uh, displaying her civil disobedience, was not cooperating with police, so they had to carry her away. She wasn't being carried away because she was hurt. She was just being carried away because she making it harder for law enforcement. Uh, the other person, or the separate person, who was here to have a medical emergency, the paramedics came over to her. Uh, they have since left, and she appears to be doing fine. She still has her hand um, secured into that barrel with the PVC pipe, and she's sitting up against the barrel. Okay. Okay, thank you for the clarification there. I did see the medical uh, personnel on standby there. But as you mentioned, Bob, they are just going now barrel by barrel trying to... Uh, unblock these people, unhinge them using the bolt cutters that we've seen them out there. It is a long, tedious procedure that they do, and they're on standby there, and as well as all those people that are waiting on the roadway as they have now for hours. Yeah, two people per barrel. So this is what's happening there on 880.